Hello viewers, welcome to APCCE LMS portal. Myself, I am Pradeep, lecturer in biotechnology and today we are going to discussing about Serenkov radiation. Before going to the main topic, first briefly discussing about light. What is light? Light is an electromagnetic radiation. What is electromagnetic radiation? It is the type of radiation which possesses both electric and magnetic properties along with some energy. So light is a an electromagnetic radiation and its velocity in the vacuum is 3 into 10 to the 4 of 8 meters per second. What is vacuum? Vacuum is the place where 0% air is present. This yellow color one is vacuum and this red color one is light. In vacuum, the velocity of light is 3 into 10 to the 4 of 8 meters per second. When light travels through denser material like glass and water, this is glass and this is light. Light decreases its velocity by 2 by 3 of its original velocity. This is water and this is light. When light travels through water, it decreases 3 by 4 of its original velocity. That means whenever light passes through denser materials, the velocity of light decreased. Why the velocity of light decreases when it passes through denser material? This is because of optical refraction. So, decreasing the velocity of light in denser medium is due to refraction. What happens when we compare electron and light velocities? Electron and light travels with the same velocity in the vacuum like this. So, both electron and light have the same velocities in vacuum. The yellow color one is electron and blue color one is light. Both possess same velocities in the vacuum. Whereas in water, which is denser material, the electron moves with the same velocity, but light decreases its velocity due to refraction. If you can compare the velocities of electron and light in water, which is denser medium, the electron retains its velocity, but light decreases its velocity like this. This is electron, which retains its original velocity that is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second but electron but light moves slowly due to refraction. What is that means? With this observation we can say that electron moves faster than light in the water. That means electron moves faster than light in the water. This leads to or this is the reason for the appearance of characteristic blue glow surrounding to the underwater nuclear reactor. This leads to appearance of characteristic blue glow surrounding to the underwater nuclear reactor. This appearance of blue color or blue glow underwater nuclear reactor known as Serenkov radiation. The Serenkov radiation is mainly due to more velocity of electron than light in denser medium. What is Serenkov radiation? Serenkov radiation is an electromagnetic radiation. So, Serenkov radiation is a type of electromagnetic radiation that are emitted when charged particles such as electrons. The Serenkov radiation is emitted by charged particles such as electron when it passes through dielectric medium like water at the speed greater than the velocity of light. That means whenever an electron travels through denser medium or dielectric medium like water, velocity whose velocity is greater than the velocity of light, then it emits some electromagnetic radiation called Serenkov radiation. When Serenkov radiation is emitted means whenever electron travels more faster than light. That means the velocity of electron must be greater than the velocity of light. Then only Serenkov radiation happens. If you take this is water which is dielectric medium 
this is electron passing through this water it emits blue color electromagnetic radiation called serenkov radiation as i said earlier when electron travels through dielectric, medi dielectric medium like water whose velocity is greater than light then it emits some electromagnetic radiation in blue color range that electromagnetic radiation is called serenkov radiation but here condition is the electron must travel faster than the velocity of light then only the serenkov radiation happens this is about serenkov radiation reason for the serenkov radiation what is the reason to emit serenkov radiation as i said earlier serenkov radiation only happens when electron moves with the velocity which is faster than the light that means electron must have greater velocity than light in denser medium like water this is water you all know the formula for water is h2o and water contain electrons when the electron traveling through this water with high velocity while traveling the electron transfers some amount amount of energy to the water molecules the transferred energy taken by the electrons which are in ground state and the ground stated electrons take that energy and get excited after some time they come back to the ground state while come back they releases some amount of energy in the form of light which is most commonly in blue color range so that is the main reason for the appearance of blue color known as serenkov radiation what will happen while traveling electron with faster rate or high velocity through denser material like water while traveling the electron transfers some energy to the water molecule surrounding water molecules by taking that energy from electron the electrons present in the water get excited after some time the excited electrons come back to the ground state while come back they emit some amount of radiation in the form of blue light mostly in the form of blue light that emitted blue light is known as serenkov radiation this is about main reason for the serenkov radiation whenever serenkov radiation happens that means where there the electron must travel faster than the light that's why first electron moves follows the light blue light that means always electron move faster than light first electron tra uh, travel followed by the blue color light appearance that means here electron always moves faster than light this is known as serenkov radiation this is the animation for the serenkov radiation the green color one is electron and here the uh, ring like structures that are emitted those are light and these emitted light is serenkov radiation see here the green color one is electron and the ring like structures that are emitted blue color light that is serenkov radiation here always electron moves faster than light first electron moving followed by blue color light emitting so this is known as serenkov radiation the frequency spectrum or energy spectrum of serenkov radiation by an electron or a particle is given by the frank tam formula what is frank tam formula this is frank tam formula that is d square by e by dx dw equal to q square by 4 pi into mu omega into omega 1 minus c square by mu square n square into omega what are these terms here e equal to 
energy emitted from the Cherenkov radiation. Here E equal to energy emitted from the Cherenkov radiation. X, this is X. X equal to length travelled by the Cherenkov radiation. Here X equal to length travelled by Cherenkov radiation. Next, omega. This is omega. Omega is the frequency of Cherenkov radiation. Omega equal to frequency of Cherenkov radiation. Q. Q equal to charge of the particle. Here Q equal to charge of the particle. If electron is the particle, then charge is minus 1. Similarly, whatever the charged particle that produce Cherenkov radiation, based on that particle, the chance charge varies. Then, mu into omega. This is mu into omega. This is permeability of the medium. So, mu into omega equal to permeability of the medium. n into omega. Here, n into omega. This n into omega equal to index of refraction. So, n into omega gives index of refraction. Mu equal to velocity of the particle. Here, mu equal to velocity of the particle. Here, the particle is electron. So, velocity of the electron. C. C is the velocity of light in the vacuum. These are the different terms present in this frank term formula. And this frank term formula gives frequency spectrum or energy spectrum of Cherenkov radiation. Next. Practical applications of Cherenkov radiation. What are the applications of Cherenkov radiation? First application is detection of labeled biomolecules. First application is detection of labeled biomolecules. P32 is a radioisotope that emits beta particles and labeling of biomolecules with it enable to detect them. So, whenever we label the biomolecules with P32, it emits beta particles. As beta particle is electron and electron travels through this denser material and gives Cherenkov radiation. Based on that Cherenkov radiation, we can determine that biomolecule or biomolecule concentration or rare biomolecules present in the sample. So, Cherenkov radiation greatly helps in the detection of biomolecules present in the sample. Positron emitters like F18 and M13 or beta emitters like P32 or Y90 have measurable Cherenkov emission. So, they have enormous applications in the medical imaging. So, some, uh, some radioactive isotopes like P32 and Y90 and F18 and M13 also show significant Cherenkov radiation. So, using these isotopes, that are used in medical imaging. So, in this way, Cherenkov radiation also involved, helpful in the medical imaging techniques also. And Cherenkov radiation used in nuclear reactors to detect high energy charged particles like beta particles. So, Cherenkov radiation greatly help in the detection of beta emitted or beta emitters or beta particles in nuclear reactors. And cosmic rays and gamma rays interact with atmospheric particles and produce electron-positron pairs, which can be detected using Cherenkov radiation that facilitate the detection of direction and energy of the cosmic rays and gamma rays. So, cosmic rays and gamma rays are high energy radiations and ionic radiations. These cosmic and gamma rays high energy radiations can be detected using Cherenkov radiation principle. In this way, Cherenkov radiation has several applications in astronomy, nuclear physics, medicine and also biological sciences. This is all about Cherenkov radiation.